First, we're going to create a new block data store. From this screen, we are going to right-click on the ESX cluster and choose EMC Unified Storage Provision Storage. We are prompted with a dialog box allowing us to choose either block or file types of storage. The VNX system we added in the prior step is available for provisioning here. On this screen, we are able to view the pools of storage that have been made available by the storage team. We are going to select the fast pool with a mixed disk type. And finally, we are prompted to enter a data store name and to configure the VMFS block size. Notice that raw device mappings can also be created using this interface. We are going to give the LUN a capacity of 1000 gigabytes and make this data store thin, which means it's only going to consume storage that's actually used. In the advanced settings here, we can also configure the storage tiering policy for this device. Here in the taskbar, we can see the different steps executing both on the VNX and inside the VMware cluster to make storage available. We're going to repeat the provisioning process, this time to build NFS or file-based storage. We'll give the file system a name, file01. Now, we select the NFS server and the network interface that we want ESX to mount the storage from. Again, we'll select a fully automated storage tiering or fast pool so that VNX manages what tier of storage the active chunks of data will reside in. Note that some data may be on flash, others on SAS. Fast cache is also enabled here. And the ESX timeout settings box will update the cluster kernel settings using EMC's best practice recommendations for NFS. Here in the taskbar we can see the different steps executing both on the VNX and inside VMware to ultimately make storage available to the cluster. As you can see, each ESX server now has two new data stores mounted and ready to go.